Hi there, Craig Hocknell here out on the fifth hole at Westchester Country Club. It is a beautiful little par three, but uh, it, it'll eat your lunch if you're not ready for this shot. Um, <clears throat> you can see I've got my ball teed up here. It's about 160 yards to the middle of the green from the back of this tee box. Uh, I'm going to hit a nice smooth eight iron, but I want to talk to you about your mental preparation in aligning correctly. This particular par three, you might as well call it an island green because there's two large bunkers, one in the front and to the right, and one in the left in the front also. And then off the back left of the green, it's an extremely severe drop off on the back with a ton of deep rough around the back of the green. So the way we're gonna approach this is if we're hitting to an island green. We can see all of the trouble and that can get in our mind and that can mess us up or we can just have an intention and a focus on where we're trying to go. So I'm going to show you a little tip on how to do that. Anytime you have the opportunity to tee up your ball, you get to choose where you place it. So what we're going to do on this situation is we're going to take a look at the dead center of the green. So the flag is down there. It's actually just a little left of center today and we're not even going to look at the flag. We're going to try to go just right of the flag. So here's what we're going to do with our ball. We're going to take one of these divots, right? Maybe this big divot right here. We're going to place our ball on the back side of that divot in a straight line to the center of the green. So if I come back here, some people will take their club, point it like this, maybe close one eye if I'm looking at the camera, use it as a sight line. So I'm going to stand back here, point it at the middle of the green and I'm looking right through this divot. Somebody else who was here before me made a nice shot. That divot's going straight to the middle of the green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as if I'm using those little arrows on the bowling alley to help me align. This is what would, we would call picking an intermediate target. Now all I have to do is really align and focus everything I can in this direction. Now I could probably hit from here without even looking up and trust that it's gonna to go to the middle of the green. When I take my eyes up, yep, that looks pretty good to me. I can go ahead and hit it. So let me hit this one for you. So we're gonna go straight off the middle of the divot, straight to the middle of the green, make a nice smooth swing. And I'm not worried about all the trouble that I just described. I'm just trying to hit my ball right over this divot in front of me here. Okay, come on little ball, right, lo and behold, just right of the pin, right in the middle of the green. I spent all of my time focusing on what I had to do instead of worrying about all the trouble that was up there ready to trap me and cause a double bogey. So hopefully this will help you use divots, use tees that are laying there, use bits of grass or leaves that have, you know, maybe blown onto the tee box. The only part of this rule that would be breaking the rule is if I said, I'm going to put my ball there, but I'm going to hit over that tee. All right, so you can't put something there as an alignment tool, but when you have ball in hand and a tee, you can use any of the things that are already on that tee box to help you align yourself much better.